Hi hello and welcome back to Need Master. Student A studies for few hours every day and he scores very good marks in exams. But student B studies for many hours and he scores very poor marks in exams. And student A is always chill and never worries about exams. And student B is always stressed and anxious before exams. Okay fine. What is the important study habits that differentiate student A from student B? In this video I have explained two important strategy that will make you to perform better in exams. And I'd like to share one more information. We are conducting exclusive test series for NEET exam. It includes all the three subjects. Exam pattern is exactly similar to NEET exam. We are also conducting doubt session and we are also providing rank list. In this test series, you will write 10 tests. And the beauty is you can cover entire NEET syllabus if you write only these 10 tests. And there is no specific time for test. You can write at your time of comfort. Actual cost of our test series is 999 rupees. But we are giving a 70% off at a cost of 299 rupees only and that too because of high demand from students but still only few seats is left out we are also providing free sample tests to get an idea about our test series if you like to join download our app neat master i have given a link in description and buy our test series okay then without wasting a moment let us dive into the topic there are two main ways we process the information in our brain if you understand these two modes of thinking, you can solve even the difficult problems very easily. First one is focus mode. You use this mode of thinking while you are studying or solving any questions with full concentration and without any distraction. You use focus mode of thinking while doing single task at a time. While you are studying in focus mode, only one area in your brain is activated. And second one is diffuse mode. Diffuse mode is nothing but allowing your mind to wander freely. When you go for a walk or while you are bathing, you use this mode of thinking. While you are using diffuse mode, all areas in your brain is activated and this is the reason you get lots of creative ideas in this mode of thinking. And this is the reason behind the discovery of Archimedes principle. Because Archimedes discovered it while taking a bath in a tub. I hope you understand these two modes of thinking. How to effectively apply these two modes of thinking in studies to perform better? For example, if you are studying a new chapter, follow these steps. Step 1. For the first 45 minutes, study with full concentration and avoid distraction. Please turn off your mobile and sit in the silent environment and start studying for 45 minutes. Step 2. After 45 minutes, take a 15 minutes break and allow your mind to wander freely and just think about what you have studied. And here's the magic. Obviously in the first step, you will be using focus mode and it enables you to understand the concepts clearly that you have studied for first 45 minutes. And in the second step, you will be using diffuse mode of thinking. It allows your brain to link newly studied concepts to the concepts which you have already studied. Your brain establishes new connection. As a result, you get lots of creative ideas. By effectively using these two modes of thinking, you can notice improvements in your performance. Before seeing the next strategy, I'd like to share one more information. I hope everyone knows about an academy. It is one of the leading platform for NEET. They are providing a bumper offer for NEET UG preparation. As you can see, various plans are available and you can choose what best suit for you and you can also avail EMI also and one more interesting thing is that you can avail 10% discount on all packs if you use our code NEATMASTER and if you are 11th or 12th standard student and you are preparing for NEAT they are also providing NEAT plus CBAC combo sale for one year or two year duration and for this also you can avail extra 10% discount if you use our code NEATMASTER if you feel like you can't afford to buy any of these packs no need to worry you can also write weekly free scholarship test if you score top rank in that you can get amazing scholarship as mentioned here in this also you can use our code neatmaster to get still extra 10 percent discount i have given a link in description please have a look next most important point is reading summary before starting to read any chapter i used to read the summary of the chapter first if you are studying any chapter in NCRT, for each lesson you can find the summary of the lesson at the end. Reading a summary of a lesson before starting that lesson will help you to get the general idea about that particular topic. Ok fine, how to implement this technique into your study routine? Step 1. Take a eagle view. It means before starting a lesson, just look at the only the main headings and subheadings of that lesson. It gives you a clarity about the contents of that lesson. It gives you a broader picture of that lesson. Step 2. Read summary. Summary is nothing but the simplified version of that lesson or in other words, it is a beta version of the particular lesson. Reading that gives you the quick idea about the important topic of that lesson. And step 3 is start the lesson. After step 1 and step 2, you need to start studying your lesson. I bet you, you can now understand the concept far more better than before. 
Yes, this strategy works for everyone. While you are studying, implement these two strategies and I hope you like this video. And which study methods work for you? Comment below. Then don't forget to download our app in Play Store. Thank you for watching my video till the end. See you in next video.